kitchen witchery and other spells. So today, what I'm gonna make for you is Irish soda bread. It's gonna be gluten-free Irish soda bread. And um, it's important that if you're going to do a gluten-free bread recipe that you actually use a gluten-free bread recipe. My oven has come up to temperature. Um, you need to preheat your oven to 400 degrees for this. This is a very, very simple soda bread. So what we have here is three cups of gluten-free all-purpose flour. I use Bob's Red Mill. Um, a cup and a half of buttermilk, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of very fresh baking soda. I just opened the package today for this video specifically. And then this is approximately four tablespoons or two ounces of mostly melted butter. I'll finish melting it in a little bit and one egg. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna reframe everything and um, get going with the making of the soda bread. Now, um, the recipe that I am using, which I will link in the description, plus also in my blog post, uh, wants you to use a cast iron um, skillet to form the, the dough in, but I don't happen to have one that's not in storage. So we're just gonna go with free forming it and it sound like somebody's on my porch. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we'll be right back. Any time now. Okay, so we're back here. So what we're gonna do, this is three tablespoons of melted butter. Um, our fourth tablespoon is set over here for later. So what we're going to do is we are going to whisk our three tablespoons of melted butter, our egg, and our buttermilk into this bowl. Um, I did neglect to mention that you will need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt as well for this, um, for this recipe. All right, that said, let's go ahead and whisk all of this together. So you want to get it nice and combined together. There's some good fats in here and such, and you just want to make sure that it's got some air in it and it's all combined together. Once this is combined together, then we're going to head over to our stand mixer and we are going to mix the dry ingredients together. That looks pretty good. And of course there's a cat hair. Always a cat hair. Always a cat hair. So in our stand mixer, we're going to put um, our flour in here. Okay. Our flour, our baking powder, baking soda and our salt and you want the paddle attachment for this so you're going to go ahead and lower that lock it in place and you're going to start slow to mix everything together in the um in the mixer we can mix our slate here for that there we go so Once this is mixed together, which it is, I'm gonna give this a real quick final whisk since it just was sitting for a little bit here, okay? And what we're gonna do is we are going to turn this up to medium. That's a little high for medium. That's the medium we want. And we're going to slowly add in our liquid. Slowly and carefully. There we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and um, increase this a little higher. And let that go. 
and then uh, we're gonna let this dough rest for 10 minutes before we do anything else with it. So I will be back in about 10 minutes. All right, so um, I'm looking at my dough and I'm looking how wet it is and I'm starting to think that I need to use an oven safe uh, skillet. So I'm gonna use my only oven, oven safe skillet I have. I've got flour everywhere, uh, but that's fine. So what we're gonna do is if you have a cast iron skillet, use a cast iron skillet, um, but I don't. So what we're gonna do is we are going to paint butter the rest of the melted butter into this pan. And you want it to be on the bottom here as well as up the sides. Get it as in here as you can. Um, it doesn't have to be like a thick layer or anything like that, but you do need to get everything covered. Because what we're gonna do is we are going to turn the dough over into this and form it into the shape that it's supposed to be. Um, just like that. Alrighty. Now you will want to have flour on your hands for this. It's why I am very messy right now. All right. Let's get all this dough off of here. Oh, this is really sticky. Okay. Um, yeah, you are definitely going to need a form for this bread. I'm used to making Irish soda bread um, and having it be formable without the need for having it in something. But this dough is just very, very wet, which is fine. Um, that's just gonna have to make a mess. Um, all right, so um, I'm actually gonna add some, I'm gonna add some flour to my hands, but also to this mixture here so that I can get it out of this container. Um, This is very, very wet bread. You'll notice that I've already taken my rings off because I knew, I knew I was gonna have to get stuff under my nails. All right. That seems to be as good as we are gonna get her right now, for right now. Um, now, what this recipe is wanting you to do is use, first of all, use an eight inch cast iron skillet, which as previously stated, I do not have. So um, you're gonna form it to what you got going on here. That is what I've got going on here. If you'll excuse me one moment, I need to wash my hands. So you can stare at that for a bit. So, uh, this is going to be a very flat bread because, again, I don't have the right size things. But you want to cut a cross in the center of your bread, like thus. Stick that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this butter and I'm just going to dab it on here. to help golden up the top. I'm gonna recut my slices here because um, they've already gone together in a not helpful way. Again, very moist bread. 
All right, so try that again. And you don't need to make deep cuts, but it, you do need to slice it so that it can breathe. There we go. All right, so then this is gonna go in your 400 degree oven for approximately 30 to 40 minutes. It should sound hollow when you tap on it. So we'll be back in just a little bit to uh, see how all this turned out. Alrighty then, our soda bread is finished. That's got a good color and it sounds hollow when you tap on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of the oven and we're gonna turn this over like that onto the rack and I'm gonna burn myself repeatedly because apparently I am not smart. Flip that around like that. And uh, we're gonna let this cool for about 30 minutes or so, and then you can actually break into it and see how it tastes. But I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here, and I will let you know in the blog post how this turned out. So I wanna thank you guys for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and smash that dislike button. But regardless, if you didn't see it previously, thank you guys for your support over this past year. And I finally hit 100 subscribers, so we're doing well. And uh, make sure to check out the blog at patreon.com slash kwos or at kwos-food.com. I have a shop over there that has some stuff in it. I'm working on getting some more stuff uploaded for the shop. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff going on. So in bulk is coming. Um, whole, uh, well, gluten-free Irish soda bread for those of you who can't handle regular flour. And uh, you know, good stuff's to coming. We'll see you next time. Oh, make sure that you're subscribed and you ring the notification bell so you know when my videos are coming out and such. Here's a hint, it's usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, unless you're sick.